Hey, people of God, this is Prophet Tukumbo Abraham Kenneth. How are you today? God bless you. I came to talk to somebody today about something the Holy Ghost laid in my heart, and I pray that the Lord will keep you and help you to listen and be blessed. Never, never, never let your guard down around an unfriendly friend. If you notice that somebody is an unfriendly friend, that they are in constant competition with you, that they put you down both physically, emotionally, and otherwise, then no matter what your achievements might be in life, they will talk you down and seek to make sure that you do not get to their level in life. They are highly competitive with you and highly, highly bitter in their spirit with you. I don't care whether it's at work, in your family, on your street. Never, never tolerate an unfriendly friend. Somebody who wants you in their circle so that they can monitor you and see what you do and hope that you can tell them your problems so that they can mock you. There's a, there's a, a strategy that the Holy Ghost has helped me to live with for so many years. You know, if you tell somebody what you're going through, even if you didn't have that problem, um, watch their attitude towards what you just told them. Uh, there are people who you have been with, people who you have worked with, co-workers. There are people who you have been under them for a while. You start to feel that, oh, brother, you do not belong in this place. Don't be offended. Don't disrespect them. It's just time for you to grow and go. Don't worry. God's got you. God is ever, ever present to help you. I saw a post by one brother, Joanna Umeneka, which I really want to read to the church. This is not me writing this now. This is something I saw today and I thought it would benefit the church. Hear me. It says, life is full of unfriendly friends. Some people didn't die when the arrows was in their chest. They died when they saw who threw the arrow. In other words, you are betrayed by looking at who actually threw that arrow at you. Who lied against you? Who tried to destroy you out of jealousy? Here are 12 signs of unfriendly friends. 12 signs of unfriendly friends. Number one, unfriendly friends, they plot against you at night and laugh with you in the morning. I had a guy like that. He is supposed to be an apostle. He would constantly come around me to hear me talk. He wants to know secrets about the prophetic. He kept on talking to me for years. I knew who he was. I didn't, didn't, didn't take my eyes away from who he was. However, God helped me to deal with him. I say, brother, remember to keep your ways clean and keep your words pure because that's what the devil is looking for. Looking for your words so that they can destroy you with it. So an unfriendly friend may laugh with you and their intention is still to kill you. They are not happy that you are who you are. They are not happy at the authenticity of your life. Because they themselves, they don't live an authentic life. They live a fake life. Their fakery is what they are angry with. Remember, you were never, never the problem. The problem was the fact that you thought that you could trust somebody who called himself a brother or sister in Christ. You will see these things every day. I knew who you were from the first day I met you. I knew what you were capable of doing from the first day I met you. So I am not surprised if you start to manifest those things. They laugh and act like they love you and act like they are humble. They put up a posture like they are respectful. They put up a posture like they know that, uh, yes, you have been ill-treated in the other side. Oh, no, we, we are going to treat you well. And they do worse than where you are coming from. Hear me, child of God. The earth is the same. If you move from one place to another, you will realize that you are dealing with human beings. And when you are dealing with human beings, you have to be very, very careful. You have to be very, very prayerful. 
You have to be very, very prayerful. Do not let people put you in a place where you become bitter because of what they have done. Let them carry the consequences of their actions. If people say they don't trust you, that is none of your business. That is the spirit and the demons that they are dealing with. It has nothing to do with you. Remember that. Remember that. Never, never, never let anybody project their insecurities over your life. Number two of an unfriendly friend. They appear when they need you and disappear when you need them the most. So when they need you, they are there. When you need them, they are not there. That is another sign that you're dealing with somebody who is very deep in manipulation. They don't care about anybody. It is all about themselves. So they are very selfish and self-centered. Selfish and self-centered. Number three, your success threatens them. If you start to make progress, I had a pastor in Nigeria, very crafty, dangerous human being. I say, I make references to him all the time. And I say that if God is to judge the earth, God has to start from that place. I used to say it all the time. Because if somebody say that he's a man of God, woman of God, husband and wife, their child, their children, and they're so crafty, so bitter, they don't like to see anybody doing well. They don't like to see anybody going anywhere. Success threatens them. They are afraid that you will prosper and be better than them and their children. Beware, you are dealing with an enemy. Beware. Number four, they blackmail you emotionally. They use your past relationship. They use your past failures. They use the times when they were with you and you were struggling. In the days when you didn't know that the people you were sitting down with were your enemies. You didn't know that the people that you're dealing with were people that were trying to destroy you. You did not know. You innocently went into the presence of God to serve God. And as time went on, you start to realize, wow, that you have been dealing with a snake. You've been dealing with a crab for a while. They even talk to you on the phone. Then if they cannot reach you anymore, they build a network around you so that they can hear what is going on in your life. Beware, child of God. If you spot anybody who is an impersonator, imposter, who is an informant to your enemies, remember to cut them off. You do not owe them no explanation. Number five, they always try to compete with you and make you feel they are better than you. Every time I see somebody with a domineering spirit, I always say, I don't know why you think you need to show me that you are better than me. I'm not interested in the competition with you. One time in the past, the Holy Ghost said, they say, you need to know when you are at war with a man or woman and know when you are not at war with them. Just continue going your way. Continue to do what is right. Continue to love the people. Continue to be a blessing to your generation. Don't worry about what your enemies are saying. The jealousy will come. The projections will come. The lies will come. The manipulations will come. They will do everything possible to stop you from where God is taking you. Never, never give them the opportunity to do these things to you. Never. Continue to be who you are. And God will watch over you. And God will bless you. Okay? Number six, it says, unfriendly friends always criticize you negatively. They constantly point out all the negative things about your life. They don't see anything good about you. This is true. Number seven, they discredit you and doubt everything you say or do. They hold you in low esteem and spread lies about you. This is also true. You have to fight against all those things, but fight with wisdom on your knees. They lack faith in you and belittle your achievement. If they hear something new has happened to you in life, they belittle your achievement. They try to make sure that you don't get to the next level. They try to make sure that you don't get to the next things in life that you want to do. They have a network of people who do these things. They are all the same type of people. They talk to one another, but you, they will never talk to you because they know that they have nothing good in their mind towards you. The day you find out, remember to cut them off. Remember also, child of God, that you can know somebody is an enemy and you can still be uh, praying for them that God will touch their heart because it is the condition of their heart that has put them where they find themselves. Number eight, they are not consistent. 
I have heard people tell me to go and be consistent, and they themselves are not consistent. It's a, it's a, it's a brainwashing now. It's a brainwashing. They want to tell you to do this, something that they cannot do. I had a young man at my place of work. He does not do anything. Everybody else is doing something. He sits down, and he wants to give instructions to other people to do this and do that. You who say you are the leader, you lead by example. You don't teach people. You don't push them. Hey, hey, you go here. You go you come and lead by example. That is how we know you're a leader. Leadership is not in title. It is actually in the doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the next one I see here, uh, it says they are not consistent. You cannot de de depend or rely on them. They are not trustworthy. Number nine, unfriendly friends don't feel bad or remorseful when they hurt you. If they do something to you, they don't feel bad. They're not remorseful. This is also the story of a narcissist. They never apologize. Rather, they are judgmental, always feeling they are right. If you meet with that person who is always feeling that they are right, always feeling that they are the ones in the know, always feeling that they know it's better than you, don't worry. You're dealing with an unfriendly friend. Just keep it moving. Number 10, they rejoice when something bad happens to you. Your pain gives them joy. This is true. Unfriendly friends will never patronize you, even if you sell the secrets of long life and prosperity, all because of envy and jealousy. The motive is always envy and jealousy. Number 12, they are happy when you share your secrets with them because they are going to use it against you to blackmail, hurt, or betray you without your notice. Now, this part, which is number 12, is very common with people who really want to see you fail in life. People who want to see you drown in life. Do not share your secrets with them. You will see them come all the time. Give them the fake blueprint. Let them walk with the fake one. I'm telling you, show them the things that are fake. That is how you know that they are your enemies. Let them use those fake things to prophesy against you. I have seen some people, when they come around me, I already see what is in their heart. God shows me people's heart. I see what is in their heart. I tell them those things inside their mind so that I can watch them go and use it for prophecy. And, you know, some people want to show that they are stronger than you spiritually, right? Because they don't know how God uses you to operate. Uh -huh. Now, what they do is simple. They will come to know your next move so that they can go and use it as prophecy in their church. They always want to be in competition with you. Do not let that toxic trait come into your life. Give them the wrong blueprint. Watch them do the same thing too. They will start to do that same thing you are doing. Monkey do, monkey see, monkey do. If you give them the wrong blueprint, uh, day two, tomorrow, when they want to talk to you, they will do the same thing to you. They will give you wrong blueprints. That's how you know them. That They are never real with you. What you are doing is what they want to do. So if you give them a wrong pathway today, tomorrow, they say, ah, wow, that's the new style. They will do the same thing. Monkey see, monkey do always in competition with you be prayerful i have never competed with anybody in life i do not like the spirit of competition i believe everybody is unique i believe everybody is blessed i think you are better than me in certain areas if you walk on those areas where you are better than me maybe you would not have to compete with me in the first place maybe you would not have to speak bad about me in the first place watch my life I tell you the truth. I want to go to school. I want to do this. I want to do that. That is who I am. I have no time for foolishness. Live a straightforward life. The earth is filled with manipulators, with thieves and crooks and, and divinators. The earth is filled with people who are crafty. Don't be one of them. Just be who you are. Be original and be truthful and watch God fighting for you. God bless the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.